welcome to Access. We're going to start by creating an Access database and we're going to use the blank desktop database. You have to do this on a PC. There is not a version of Access for the Mac. You're going to name the database your last name and you're going to hit Create. Now there are two ways to create tables. We can create tables from the datasheet view. I find this sometimes to be a little bit buggy and it doesn't give me the easy way to modify fields that I like. And then there's the other way which is in design view. We're going to create two tables and I'll show you how to do it once in each view. The first table we're creating is simply going to be a lookup list for our other table. So we're going to click to add a new field. The ID field by default is already there. It will be the key field and it will auto number. I'm going to click to add a short text field. I'm going to call it, yeah, I always have problems naming this one. Um, so we can hit name and caption up here and do name kind of pet caption kind of pet. The caption is what appears here. This is what appears to the computer. So to the computer we don't want to create a name with spaces but for humans to read we do. The description is optional and you can put something in here or not. It's just useful as a programmer to go back if your description, your if your caption isn't really clear, you can do that. It helps you when you go into the table view. Now, we're going to do a database of pets. So usually I do this in the classroom where each person in the class contributes up to three pets so we have some data to sort. In this case, I've actually created a table for you with about 17 or 18 entries that we're ultimately going to import. But for right now, we're just going to type in for the kind of pet, dog, cat, and I'm hitting enter to move between fields. Tab would work as well. Fish, bird, rodent, for the people who have hamsters. Now we, this is definitely not an exhaustive list. We're not including snakes or iguanas or anything like that, but this is enough to give us an idea of how to use access. So this table will become a lookup list for our second table. I'm going to close this table and I want to save changes, so I'm going to call it TBL for table dash kind of pet. And notice I don't use spaces, I do capitalize everything other than the first word. And that's just a programming habit because in programming you would use this, which is camelback notation, which e with each new word starting with a capital letter. And I treat access as if I'm programming because back when I was working in industry, I programmed Access. It has a whole language behind it. I'll give you a glimpse of that later, but you won't be expected to program it. Get that table created, then come back and we'll start the next one.